All right, boys and girls, Miss Rafferty and Simon are here. I apologize in advance. He's going to be all over the video. So today we're working on our introduction, paragraph to a DBQ. You need to take out your Harriet Tubman DBQ, where we did catch, and your documents. All of this should be read already, and we did catch. So go to the page that has the introduction graphic organizer. The first part of an introduction paragraph is always the hook. So the hook is a quote or a fact about your topic. Our topic is about Harriet Tubman. So you're going to go to Google. You are going to type in quote or fact about Harriet Tubman. So I like quotes, so I'm going to do quote about Harriet Tubman. I can even go on Google Images and it will show the words that I want. I'm going to pick one that I like and I'm going to copy it word for word onto my hook part of the graphic organizer. You don't need to say, oh, Harriet Tubman said it. You don't even need to write who said it. As long as you put the quotations, you are good to go. Simon's going to help again. So find a quote that you like and you are going to write it in. Um, let's see. One that I like. Um, says, I freed a thousand slaves, could have freed a thousand more if only they knew they were slaves. I think that's pretty deep, so I'm going to copy that word for word onto my graphic organizer. Remember to put your quotations, because these are not your words. So it will look like this. You copy it word for word, you put the quotations, you don't need to say Harriet Tubman said that. So we finished that box. The second box is the background information. Remember you need to write three sentences about your topic. You can find your information from the background essay. Remember we highlighted important information from our background essay. You cannot copy word for word. You have to word it in your own words. So I'm looking at what I highlighted. One thing I really found interesting was at the age of five, Minty Ross was hired out to do child care. So that's exactly the quote from my background essay. So I need to put it in my own words. So I'm going to write Minty Ross was a child care worker at five years old. So again, I put it in my own words. I go back to my background essay and I find another sentence that I highlighted. I really like the sentence that says, taking her mother's first name and her husband's last, Minty Ross became Harriet Tubman. So, I need to reword that sentence in my own words. Harriet Tubman was not her real name. It was Minty Ross. Okay, so now I've written two sentences. I need to write one more, so I go back to my background information, or my background essay, and I think my last sentence talks about how she was part of the Underground Railroad. I think that's important because, remember, our reader knows nothing about Harriet Tubman. So, I'm going to go back and say that Harriet Tubman was the founder 
of the Underground Railroad. So, your background information should look exactly like this. Three sentences. Now to the last part, which is our thesis. The thesis, remember, is the strongest sentence in your paper. This is where you tell me what was Harriet Tubman's greatest achievement. Our sentence starter is Harriet Tubman. I'm sorry. Harriet Tubman's greatest achievement was. That's our sentence starter. Okay? So now I go back to my documents, not my background essay, my documents. When we read our documents and we did catch, we made plus signs that had our reasons or our great, her greatest achievements, our reasons based on this document, on both of them. So now you only have to pick one. You pick one achievement that you want to write about. It does not need to be the same as everybody else's. It's something that you believe to be true. Your paper is to prove to me that Harriet Tubman's greatest achievement was whatever you choose. So one thing I really like that I learned about Harriet Tubman that I did not know was that she helped people after the Civil War. So, and that's all used in document E. I'm going to go back to my graphic organizer. Harriet Tubman's greatest achievement was she helped sick people. I don't need to write that she helped sick people after the war because that's what I'm going to talk about my body paragraph. Again, you only need one reason and your graphic organizer is complete. Remember, if everyone gets it right, there's a treat for you guys. Please be good.